Hey, it's me, Bestro. Welcome to Zelda a Link to the Pla uh, Past, Episode 4. In the last episode, we went and found the last pendant so that we could get the uh, Master Sword out. And we came here to the castle so that we can battle the wizard that kidnapped... Um, what's her name? Zelda, the person that the game's named after. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. Uh, while I was recording this, I did make some commentary, but for whatever reason, the software that I do this with did not capture my voice, so I'm kind of doing a voiceover. I don't know how entertaining this is going to be, but uh, here we are at the castle, and we're just going to go ahead and go through the dungeon, go through everything. First room is pretty simple, no big deal, but in this one we have these two guys that will swing around these maces, I guess is what, what they are. Look, look, looks like I was uh, trying to figure out the buttons here. I'm going to use arrows to uh, make it a little bit easier. You could just let them get close to you and swing the sword at them if you want to, but looks like we're going to speed things along and just use the arrows. Alright. Go back to the boomerang. Get the money. Now we can just freeze these guys with the boomerang. Gotcha. First key. Third floor. Alright, now we got the dark element coming in here, so it makes it difficult to know what's going on around the room. Alright, looks like we got everything. Alright, let's bring it over here. And we're going to use the magic of the sword to our benefit and try to kill everything. From a distance. So we don't have to get close to them and put ourselves in there. See? That's so much easier. And the second key. Oh, just a heart. And I'm thinking, do we need to do we need to light all of these things up to get something done? To like open that door? Maybe if I... No, nothing happened up here. Yeah, let's get these plates right there, see if there's anything. Oh, maybe if I move this, it'll open that door. I think that's what it does. Oops, wrong turn. Yep, it opened up. Oh, but you know what? This is where we started, isn't it? This is where we entered. Uh, yeah, it is. Oops. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this all over again. Well, we got the key now, so we should just go right to... Yeah, we don't have to kill anything, so we should be able to just go right towards the door and unlock it. I know there's some puzzles that will require you to light all the lanterns. But I don't think there was anything that's done. See, that was easy. Ooh, fairy. Do we need that? No. Just, we got our bottles full already. This one's tricky because we got several planes of mobs in here. See, with the darkness, you can't tell where they're at, but I guess, uh... We missed it. That's right. Magic sword we got. There's different ways we can get to the top here, but we're gonna light the lantern so we can see where those things are. I, I thought there was a puzzle here that needed all those lanterns. Can we push that up there? I don't, I don't think that did anything. Key. It's key number three for the dungeon. Four of the stairs. Fifth floor. 
These things are kind of tricky. But with a uh, magic sword, I should be fine. I don't think that. Uh, oh, okay, let's talk to Sahasrala. Listen well, Bastro, even with the Master Sword, you cannot. Something. I'm sorry. I can't read this fast enough. Apparently, I did pretty well while recording it. One-eyed bats. Do we see that in other Zelda games? One-eyed bats. It doesn't really. Okay, get money. Let's pick up all these pots. Cyclops bat. Cyclo bat? I don't know. All right, so we got everything out. Oh yeah, now we get the the fun room. Oh yeah. Be a problem. And done. Uh, Alright, let's go up to the sixth floor. Oh, yeah, this one's fun too. Oh, shoot! Turn up! Now we got. Now we just we have to get close. We can't. We lost the magic sword. Or the magic of the sword. And go back to the boomerang. Get that guy off the cliff there. there we go. And level seven. This is the boss fight. Aha, Bestro, I have been waiting for you. <laughs> I was hoping I could make Zelda vanish in front of your eyes. Behold, the last moment of Princess Zelda. Oh, with this, the seal of the seven men is at last broken. It is now only a matter of time before evil power covers this land. After all, the legendary hero cannot defeat us. The tribe of evil, when we are armed with the gold, the power of gold. Ho, ho, ho. Now I must go. Well, shoot. It looks like we were too late, so we're just going to give up. Just kidding. Let's look behind door number three. Door number one, door number two, the winner. Oh, so you mean to say you would like to be totally destroyed? Well, I can make... One. Your wish come true. Alright, so the trick with this guy is that you have to reflect back what he shoots to do damage to him. You can't hurt him with your actual sword. So if you stay in like a direct line in front of him or on the side of him, it will reflect directly back. If you have like an angle, it's not going to go back at him. Then he shoots those things, which I think they will follow you for a little bit. And now he's going to shoot out lightning, which if you're in front of him, uh, well, that's not a good idea. Alright, so if you get directly... See, with this upgraded shield, it makes it a lot easier to be able to do this fight. Because if you swing at it quick enough, or when it's uh, far away from you, but it's still hittable with the sword, your shield will block the little blast that comes back to you. Oh! And it looks like uh, we forgot about the lightning part. We got so focused on it. So those wings? Is that guy wearing wings? That's weird. Well, Matt, like true hero that you are, but I'm not ready to admit defeat yet. I will draw you into the dark world. Alright. Bestro, it is I, Sahasrala. I'm communicating to you across the void through... Telepathy place where you now stand was the golden land but evil power turned it 
into the dark world. The wizard has broken the wise man's seal and opened a gate to link the worlds at Hyrule Castle. In order to save this half of the world, the light world, you must win back the golden power. You must also rescue probably the seven maidens who Aganum <laughs> sent to the dark world. As members of the bloodline of the seven wise men, they have power that will surely help you. The maidens are locked in hidden dungeons full of evil creatures and dangerous traps. The palace of darkness should be your first goal in this world, Bestro. I can rely only on you. Please make this old man's wishes come true. I beg you. All right, so I think this is my favorite part of this game is because uh, what you do here in the dark world can have effect in the light world and what you do in the light world will have effect in the dark world and that connection was always something I really liked uh, it looks like we got that first place we gotta go to but you can see there's a lot of similarities between this land or the dark world the light world right same building same area same village castle type thing right in the mountain um, it seemed like it was a precursor to Ocarina of Time, where what you did in the past affected the future. I don't think it ever worked the other way around. That wouldn't make sense, right? Okay, see that crack in the wall right there? That is going to require a huge bomb, which we don't even get till later in the game. But once we get in there, we're going to get some nice stuff to help us out. Let's, uh, just... I don't think we can take these guys. If we can, it's... It shows a lot of health. And... Let's just... Let's just get out of here. Start heading over to the... Uh, what did Sahasrala call it? Temple of... Doom? Nah. No, no, no. It couldn't be Temple of Doom. <laughs> Temple of Darkness, maybe? Oh, shoot. Whoa, it's getting a little hairy. Okay, on to the next one. Oh, right into another ambush. Um, I remember spending so much time in this when I was a kid. Lost magic. Oh, we got it back in the heart. Because uh, we had to figure out the maze, because it's, it's pretty much a maze, and there's only a few tips and hints of uh, what to do. Now, when you see Link walk around. Oh, it's this guy. You're new here, aren't you? Did you come look here looking for the power of gold? Well, you're too late. It, was, it will obey only the first person who touches it. The man who last claimed the power of gold wished for this world it reflects his heart. Yes, I came here because of greed for the golden power, and look what happened to me. To restore the golden power, or a golden land, a person worthy of the golden power must blah 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 defeat and create this place. Until this time, I am stuck in this bizarre shape. But what a mischievous thing to leave lying around the power of gold. Triforce. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, I guess there's nothing special in here. But you'll see when I go underneath the bushes, you'll see like some dots that you'll see pretty much blink walking around there. Oh, look at that big arrow. Gee, I wonder where I'm supposed to go from here. Well, that's like one of your only tips or hints as to how to navigate around there. Is, um, it's dark when no one's in there, but then it starts having color, right? Well, we spent so much time trying to figure out how to go through this maze when I was a kid, but now it's it's pretty simple. It makes you think, gee, I think I was a dumb kid. All right, we got the monkey. I'm Kiki, the monkey. Kiki, I love rupees more than anything. Can you spare me 10 rupees? Give him 10 rupees. I remember sitting here as a kid, we were like, I'm not giving this monkey 10 rupees. Why would I do that? It doesn't make any sense. Kiki, Kiki, good choice. I'll accompany you for a while. Kiki. And uh, as it turns out, it's pretty important for you to give him the 10 rupees. Oh, and I got hit. And that's what happens. You get hit, Kiki runs away. 
Gotta go back and get him again. And you give him another 10 rupees. Yes, here's another 10 rupees. But it's important to get him, you'll see here in a moment. Because he needs to step on a button. Kiki, if you give me 100 rupees, I'll open the entrance for you. That's going to open it. And there goes all our rupees. Alright, Kiki. Open the door. Thank you. Now, the first time we were, we, this, this is like a similar entrance to the first pendant that we got in the light world. And in the first episode, I went to each side because I thought, oh, I have to go to each side. I remember having to do that. Well, I was confused. This is the dark world that you have to go on each side. But you go on the each side and you uh, pretty much get a key from each side that you go to. Just like that one. And they're all going to be used by the end by the end of the dungeon. Oh, wait, where's that button? There's the button. Then you hit that pad, it opens up. You're gonna hit the pad again, it's gonna close. Gonna hit it a third time. These guys suck, but with the magic that comes out of the sword, it's actually pretty easy. Oh yeah, this one's fun. So they mimic your your action, so uh, you just have to figure it out. Now, uh, if you end up facing them, if you guys face each other, they're going to shoot out a piece of fire. So you have to figure out how to reflect the fire, and I found the best way is to let the skull on the ground get like that. Once you figure that out, this uh, little dungeon is pretty quick. This one's fun because the floor is moving, and then halfway through it moves the opposite direction. These squiddy things just... They just suck. There's no way around it. Especially these red ones, because they split off on those small things, and it's hard, hard to gauge when they're going to do their electrifying thing or another, and then it's hard to hit them with the skulls if you can at all. And with the last one's pretty easy, you just wait until he's done doing it. Okay, lay a bomb. I think there's... Yeah, I was expecting more bombs in that chest. That yeah, works. Okay, we're gonna this door first. Oh, it's just fairies. Yeah, and our bottles are full, so no worries. We go in here, we got a chest with another key. Alright. I think we're gonna do we're gonna go back where we came from. But we're gonna do a shorter way. We're just gonna use the mirror and it's just gonna take us right to the entrance where we need to go anyways. Back to the boomerang. Trusty good old boomerang. <laughs> Okay, so for these turtles, you need a hammer to get them on their belly, and then, no, on their back. It exposes their belly. And then you hit them again with the hammer. Bet you can guess what we're going to get in this dungeon. Um, no, I don't think, actually, I don't think I should be in this room quite yet. If I remember right, if I blow up the floor and drop down, I should get another key in that chest over on the right. That's the master key, or the big key. And I think it's, doing this is going to take us to that, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go through this door. And then we're going to get the master key. 
I guess they call it Big Key, right? You got the Big Key. Yeah, that's right. No, they reference it as the Master Key as well. I guess you can go either way. You know. And then there's another key, I believe, right here. Yep. I don't think these floating skulls can actually be Alright, back at the entrance, once again. I'll just go through this here. No need to go through the doors. Okay, now we're gonna go on this side. Whoa, I don't know if you guys heard that or not. And I don't think we do the do anything in this room quite yet. Oh yeah, we gotta speed right through this. Thing. Yeah, the floor starts dropping as soon as you enter this room. You'll see it coming in a second. See that? All right, another room with uh, with the dark element, meaning that everything's dark except for where you can see. Got some bombs. I'm gonna use our magic sword to try to pick up baddies from a distance. We got that one. I think there. I think that's it. I think we got. Oop! Get that chest. It's a key. This is where we get the hammer. The magic hammer. I don't know what makes it so magic. You just hit the ground with it. Okay, let's go back through the puzzle. through this other door. I think we got everything. Okay, I believe there's a key here. So I'll demonstrate how the hammer works. Oh, of course I get hit. If you don't kill them while they're on their backs, they come back over on their bellies and it's a little bit faster. Oh, it's not the key, it's the compass. If we go down here, we're going to get a ton of rupees. And gather or uh, replenish that hundred rupees we had to give that monkey. And we should get more. A single arrow. Wow, gee, thanks. Wow. Yeah, we came up much better. We get like 300 out of that? Or was it 275 something? I don't know, we got a lot. Maybe we just go around this. No big deal. Five rupees, GX. Easy. Alright, now we're at this point. I think this is where we're going to be doing. Oh, we can't use our magic sword. There's different ways of doing this. Um, I could throw a bomb. I'm going to do an arrow. No, oh, that goes right over them. Let's move them over here, and then we're going to jump down in there. And we're going to try to swing them off the edge. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That is close. Well, it worked out. No big deal. we got to change that. And... We got... Oh, got to get that last rupee. Okay. And we gotta move a statue over on top of the button. There's the button. Move this statue over. There you go. Let's get these ones. Looks like it's all good parts. Do we need to change that? Mm, no, we should be fine. Ah, oh, yes. Another one of these puzzles. Pew, pew. Get that guy stuck in the school. Face him, and we're good. 
Oh, my arrows. We are full on arrows, I believe. Okay. I guess we could have changed the, um, or hit the switch that changed the thing, but it works out. It's not good. And with this, you just gotta shoot the guy in the eye, and the wall moves over. We have to endure such an earthquake. Eventually it stop. Come on, stop. Why was he even programmed to be that far away? It's ridiculous. Alright, get the hammer out. Kill the turtles. Okay. Alright, I gotta switch the... There we go. Switch the colors. Whatever you want to call it. Hit the switch, switch the colors. Turtles. Gotta use the hammer. I think I'm gonna struggle with this room if I remember right. Yeah, I struggle. Because they, they go opposite each other all the time. It's kind of hard to figure out. Two at once. Yes. Alright, very nice. Where is a door? There it is. And do we, I think we light the lanterns. Nope, nothing happens. We just gotta hit the teleport. There we go. Oh, this is where I actually do the struggle. I think I die, actually. I don't know why I couldn't get it right. Just. Oh, I don't die, I just use the fairy so I don't die. You release it, and then you try to pick it up. I don't know why you can't use it right away. Like you run around like a goof trying to pick it up. Alright, we're gonna go to the hammer. You can use bombs or hammers, um, but it's a little bit easier with the hammer because the bomb you have to wait for it to detonate. Which you'd wait until the tail moves and then you drop it on his face. But the danger of this one is you have to get close to his face and if he walks towards you, you're gonna get hit. So we're trying to break his wings. Hits. There we go. Now we switch back over the arrows. We gotta hit the jewel on this floor. Because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monster. Monsters, thank you. This world used to be the Golden Land where the Triforce was hidden. But because Ganon, the boss of Thieves, wished it the world was transformed. Wished it the world was transformed. I'm sure he intended the, to conquer even the White World after building his power here. He is trying to open a larger gate between worlds, larger than the castle using the power. <coughs> but the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you will destroy Ganon. I will return to my original form at that time. Do you understand? Yes, I do. May the way of a hero lead to the Triforce. Thank you so much. All right. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and end the episode. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe. It really does help me. I appreciate that. Uh, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.